the last lecture we saw that we could do iteration with filtering which means that we could we could not do an operation for all the cards but you could check if the card satisfies some condition like for example whether it's a boy or a girl or whether the you know the uh, the date of birth is uh, within a certain range and then uh, select those cards which satisfy those conditions which is called the filter and then do only a count operation or an accumulate operation for only those selected cards okay so uh, in this uh, in this lecture i want to basically uh, look at how to convert a flow chart how to convert such a procedure in which there is filtering going on into a flow chart so we are going to consider specifically doing a flow chart for sum in which some filtering is being done so for example suppose we want to modify uh, the flow chart for doing sum which is shown here uh, to do only the sum of boys maths marks we don't want to add up all the maths marks of all the students we want to only add up all the student uh, maths marks of the boys in the in the class so if you want to do that then uh, this this flow chart basically is adding all the cards somewhere in here we have to check whether the card is uh, that of a boy and uh, only then do the sum and if it is not that of a boy we should not do the sum so the question really is where do we do this check of whether it is a boy or not so clearly it's not at the initialization somewhere inside the iterator we have to do it so in the initialization step where we are setting sum to zero there is nothing to be done we are going to check whether there are more cards in pile one that we are going to do whether it's boys or girls we are going to do that and inside this we have to pick a card from the pile one we have to do that anyway we have to move the card to pile two that also we have to do anyway but it is only here that we are where we are adding the math score to sum that we need to make some change right so we have to not do it for all the cards so after between here and here if that card x belongs to a girl then we should not do the addition but if it belongs to a boy then we have to do the addition so something in here we have to basically insert something in here so that we can check whether it is a boy or a girl and how do we do that we have seen earlier that the way to do a check and then proceed in the flow chart is by using a condition box and the condition box is denoted by diamond so we have to insert in some inside this we have to insert a diamond okay so i am moving these boxes so that i can create some space and i have inserted basically a diamond box and what are we checking inside the diamond box we are checking whether the card x has boy written on it which is m in our case basically the card will have m the gender m written on it so we are checking whether x is a boy or not okay so if x is a boy then we continue it through the process which basically means that we add the maths marks to sum but on the other hand if x is not a boy then there is nothing to do really right there is nothing to do so uh, when we check x is a boy it could turn out that the card x actually is a girl in which case there is nothing to be done so how do we represent that nothing is to be done so basically if there is nothing to be done then we are not adding uh, the maths score to sum so in some sense we have to skip this next step and so the easiest way to represent that nothing needs to be done is to bypass this box and go to the point after this so the way to do that basically is to um, write on the no condition that is when the condition turns out to be false that is x is, is not a boy which means x is a girl you just have an arrow which goes all the way back like this to this decision box so basically you are just skipping this adding maths to sum and going back to the beginning of the iteration which if you, if you remember beginning of the iteration is checking whether there are any more cards in pile 1 so uh, essentially the condition check here the the condition that we are checking here for filtering is whether x is a boy there are two possibilities one is x is x is indeed a boy which means the condition comes out true in which case you will add the match marks to sum or it could come out false in which case you do nothing and the way to represent nothing is you bypass this box that is go around this box and go back to the start of the iteration